I have known John since my second movie. Uh, since the second movie I came out to Hollywood to make, um, Dead Silence. When was that? How many that years was. Ago? Um, I'm the worst at remembering that. Um, <laughs> I think that was 2005 or 2006 ish. Okay, yeah. so yeah, it's yeah. about almost 10 years is what I thought. Yes, yeah. We've been friends for 10 years. Yes. Well, you know, when we were shooting The Conjuring, uh, it became very clear to us that uh, Annabelle was something that um, had a lot of presence. You know, even though she was just an, an, an animated um, object sitting around doing nothing, um, people would react to her in a very strong way. And, uh, and sure enough, when the film came out, um, um, Annabelle got such a strong reaction, like she, she almost was like a star in her own right, that we all felt that she would be the natural... Um, um, star of the next spin-off um, Conjuring film. You know, I was very excited. You know, when I was asked, I hadn't read the script yet, you know, so obviously if you're going to direct the movie, <laughs> you're going to read the script <laughs> and see if you, you know, take to it. And I have to say, it was it was really good. The tone, the the... the the feeling uh, that I could see that the audience uh, would uh, take to and, and 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 be manipulated by and all that was in was in that that first draft of the script and and that and to, hey to work with you know James in this capacity to work with New Line uh, who are wonderful people you know it was all it was too it, the whole thing is has it is was is and was so good to be true, I can't believe it. Well, I mean, put it this way, uh, when we finished The Conjuring and we felt that Annabelle was gonna be our potential next movie to go out with, you know, uh, we thought for two seconds, who could this be? And then uh, pretty much right after that two seconds, we, we all agreed between myself, the producer, and, and New Line Warner Brothers, I said, what about John Lanetti? Uh, he would be the natural guy. He gets the wall, he understands, he shot The Conjuring, and, uh, and we all just hoped that John would, would be willing to come and play with us, and we're so glad that he did. <laughs> Yes, I think uh, I think it's the fact that um, Annabelle wasn't just something that was made up completely from scratch, and that um, that there was something there that she was based on to begin with. Kind of gives her that extra thing that it needed, and I think mm. um, we, we 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 took that and we ran with it, and uh, you know, and and even though um, you know. Um, Annabelle is her own story. Um, John and I really wanted it to be as grounded as possible because Absolutely. for something like this, a movie about a potentially possessed demonic doll can walk that fine line between, you know, like um, scary and cheesy can be, right? And so uh, the more we ground her, the more we portrayed her in a, in a way that makes her feel real uh, is, was a very important thing for, for us when Absolutely. we were shooting this film. Well, I happen to be lucky enough to see uh, Annabelle Wallace's uh, tape, um, and I was just blown away by her. At, at first, it, we didn't even know if we could get her because of visas and stuff, but she was, her eyes were just so expressive, and, and I knew how many <laughs> times we'd be in a close-up uh, in this movie, and, and she, she just has this timeless, classic, classical look, She's a well, well trained actress, actor. What a pro she is. And she's beautiful. And, you know, she, she's gripping on the screen. So I guess those are the factors. Yeah, no, I think that's the thing that John did really well was um, casting actors that feel like they fit into this movie. And, and not mm. just the time period that the movie takes place in, but in, in a world that we want 
the audience to know that this is a different kind of horror film. It's not necessarily a contempor contemporary smelling horror movie. Right. It's one that's made today, yes, but one that invokes the spirit of that era. And, and, and casting, you know, um, Annabelle and Ward, who, who both have a very classic quality to them, uh, was very important for us. And I think, uh, I think you know, we were very fortunate with uh, getting them. Well, it was, you know, let's face it, we literally set the stage in The Conjuring. The Conjuring, yeah. Uh, you it, know. Yeah. It, it, it's something that, uh, that that is great. It's something, you know, for, for for us as filmmakers, you know, cinematographer and production designer, it lets you create this world of a per period that, uh, that, um, that I'm a big fan of, and I, I love movies from that era. Um, but one of the things John and I did um, photographically with The Conjuring was um, we didn't necessarily want to go down the, the cre the cliche route of um, you know using old film cameras to do it. We want to shoot it with sort of very high-end, sleek, modern um, equipment, but make it feel like um, you're watching this movie that is literally just peeling back the curtain into another time period, like like you're there, as opposed to watching something that was projected on a screen, right? You know, uh, and so that was something that was very important, and that was the aesthetic that we carried through um, on Annabelle as well. Yeah, the music. I. I was in high school in that time. At that time, and the music alone sets you in the period. You know, if you just, you know, if you pick the right, pick any of those songs from that time. And I think the moment you do that and create the look, and that that you know James is talking about, the audience immediately is sucked in, and you got them. And now, we, now you kind of scare them too. Well, and especially if you're telling the audience that uh, that this story takes place in a world that is supposedly based on a true story, like the first Conjuring right. was, right, right, based on real people, you want to be true to uh, the time period that it was set in. 